Hey guys, Susie here. Hope y'all are doing well today. And today I'm testing out four products for you guys. These are four new products from LA Colors that I found in my local Dollar Tree this past weekend and I'm kind of excited to try them out. And I didn't pick up all of the new products that they had out right now just because some of them were things that I really wasn't interested in um, that I just really didn't want to add to my collection or something I don't typically use. So I picked up the items that I do typically use and I wanted to share them with you guys. And plus since I'm getting ready I just took a shower my hair is still wet and everything I thought I would go ahead and while I was getting ready um, try some of these out with you guys so I'm not going to be doing a full-on getting ready on camera today we're just going to be trying out these four products um, so I am going to be getting ready by myself in the background over there um, at my vanity and then I'm going to come back and film certain parts of my getting ready process which will be these products that we're trying out so the four products that I'm trying out is, the first one is this Smoothing Face Primer from LA Colors, and this is in the clear shade. Now they also had a yellow to correct dullness, a cool pink that brightens your complexion, peach to neutralize dark spots, and a green that neutralizes redness, but I just picked up the clear because I just wanted to try it out and see if it minimizes my pores, which is what it says it's supposed to. Also picked up the Glow Now Skin Illuminator Liquid Highlighter. This was, um, oh, this was in Glow Now Bronze. Now they did have some other shades, but this was the only one that I could find that was there available for me to get. So I just went ahead and picked this one up. It's just a liquid highlighter. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully good. Um, I also picked up this LA Colors Brow Lift. This is a brow pencil and highlighter duo with a sharpener included, yes. And I got the light shade just because the medium shades looked a little bit dark for me. So I picked up the light. That's what that looks like. And then lastly, I picked up the LA Colors Lash in a Flash Black Mascara. I do like the packaging on this. I think it's really cute. I like that lettering, how it's blue and kind of stands out and everything. I have tried out LA Colors Mascara on my channel before and I did like it, but I don't think it was this same wand. So I'm going to try that out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some moisturizer and then I'll be back here to try out this face primer for you guys before I do my foundation. Okay, so I'm ready to apply face primer. I just applied some moisturizer and I also applied that Skin Nutrition's Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I am just really loving that stuff, guys. I feel like even just after one use, I just notice a more even skin tone, more so than before. Um, it just just looks more even and I feel like I have a brighter complexion without any makeup on so that is really nice I mean of course it's not perfect but it looks a lot better than it usually does so highly recommend that if you guys see that in your Dollar Tree pick that up but yeah let's open this on up and see what it says so on the back it just says creates a smoother surface by filling in fine lines and pores plus helps correct skin concerns uh, before applying makeup, apply a thin layer of primer all over face to prep skin. So let's see what happens. Um, now, LA Colors products have been really hit or miss for me. Sometimes they're okay, and sometimes they're terrible. So um, the eyeshadows, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're terrible. Um, the foundation was not that great for me. Um, their mascaras are decent, but... I feel like you don't really get a whole lot um, with the product, but then again, for a dollar, I guess you can't really complain. Um, so upon first look, I do like the packaging. I think it looks very sleek, kind of reminds me a little bit of like Wet n Wild, um, how their packaging looks on their eye primer. Um, and it also has like a matte feel to it. It's a very nice like matte smooth feel. So the packaging is pretty nice, I have to say for a dollar, definitely not bad twist off cap and then we've got kind of like a little angular applicator thing which is interesting so um, I don't really think I want to actually use that on my face and this is white it looks like clear but it's white so this should be really interesting <laughs> okay I don't think I'm gonna use a lot of this 
um, just because it's kind of rich. Really? This is interesting. Let's see if it feels like lotion or something. Okay, so it's blending in. It has almost like a lotion-y smell. Like very light, but like a lotion smell. It smells pretty good actually. Doesn't have like a like a weird chemical smell or anything, so that's nice. And it applies okay. I mean it's definitely got a tacky feel to it, but um it kind of applies like a lotion. It really does. It feels like a lotion. Now, let's see. So I'm going to try to kind of zoom you guys in just see so you can see where my pores are. Yeah, we're getting a little too close to my face. But anyways, whoop. okay, so there they are. You guys can see there is my pores. So after I put on my foundation, we'll see if the pores are still there. I also have some pores here. And yes, I do have a cold sore right now. It's very ugly. Please don't look at it. And then up here I've got a little bit of pores too. So I'm going to go put on my foundation. Try to zoom me up. Whoop, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and put on some foundation and see if this stuff really works. I'm actually going to just take a little more of this and apply it specifically in the pore areas just to really give this stuff a good chance. I mean, I have definitely put on enough. So if this sinks into my pores, we'll know that this doesn't work. Okay, so I just did my foundation and I did concealer and I used my um, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And even though I love this foundation, it is notorious for sinking into my pores. So let's see. Um, overall, my makeup looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't feel like it's like sticky or anything from the primer. Um, and it doesn't feel heavy on my face, which is really nice. I don't feel like I'm like wearing a mask right now. That's really good. Um, coverage was even. It went on really easily. Let's zoom you guys in on my face my favorite thing in the world. This is zoomed in and you guys can still see where my pores are. They're definitely very visible. I have really big pores on my face. You can also see here where they are and on this side as well. But if I had to say, um, to be honest, I feel like my skin looks a little bit brighter than it usually does, which is kind of nice. So I don't know if that is from the primer or just because of me using that hyaluronic acid, but it does look a little brighter, which is really nice, which I really like. It's got a little bit more of a, a glow to it, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, I mean, I can still definitely see my pores, but if I had to say whether or not this worked, I'm going to say they do look slightly minimized. They look less visible than before. Um, and even with me wearing makeup on, from far away you definitely can't tell. And up close, I mean, yeah, you can tell that I've got makeup on over my pores, but they don't look terrible. And if I was going to say whether or not I thought this was comparable to like the Benefit Professional, I would say this is pretty close. I mean, I wouldn't say I like it as much because I do feel like the Professional possibly kind of blurs them just a little bit more but this stuff is pretty awesome um, it definitely worked pretty well and I'm pretty happy with the result I feel like it kind of gave me a little bit more of a glow underneath my foundation kind of brightened things up a little bit and it did minimize the pores a little bit so the next product that we're going to be trying out is the LA Colors Glow Now Skin Illuminator since I already went ahead and applied my um, foundation and concealer. We'll try out this little baby. So this one just says apply a small amount onto the highest point of your face and blend using fingertips. For flawless finished looking makeup, um, use a blending sponge. So I'm just gonna try 
with my fingers because every time I use my blending sponge with my little highlighters like this, they end up getting a bunch of glitter all over them and then I have to wash them all over again, so I'm just not gonna bother with that. Um, but I will try with my fingertips. So, packaging again looks pretty nice. I like the packaging. And let's see, ooh! So upon opening, this is like coming out everywhere. So be very careful about that. Wow, I'm gonna have to like wipe that off. But anyways, um, as you can see, it's a bronze color. And I'm just gonna get a little bit on my fingertips. I'm kinda scared about this, to be honest with you guys. But yeah, okay, so highest points of the cheeks. Wow, okay, very pigmented. And let's try blending this out. Has a really creamy formula. Really creamy, which is nice. Doesn't feel like it's like weighs a lot. This color is not really something I would really go for. I feel like it's like orange. Kind of wish I could have picked a different color, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, when the light hits it, there's definitely a glow there. Let's try a little bit more. Yeah, there's definitely a glow. I'm gonna kind of put a little bit up here. Yeah. So, very kind of impressed right now. I mean, the color is definitely not like my favorite shade. I feel like I kind of would have did better with just a like pink or um, like a clear, like light pink type looking highlighter. But or like beigey, that's what I mean, like a beige shade highlighter. But this one's not bad. And it blends in pretty easily, I have to say. You can definitely build it up. So it's really natural looking, but there's definitely something there. So, kind of impressed about that. Let's try a little bit on the nose. So we'll put like a little line going like that and then we'll put a little bit here on the chin area. Oh. Oh, look at that. Right on the edge of the nose. Oh not too bad. And lastly, we'll try a little bit on the cupid bow. Alright, so um, I'm a little bit impressed right now. I mean, I definitely wasn't expecting such a natural looking highlight, but y'all, this stuff's legit. I mean, it's there. It's not bam in your face. It's very light and um, natural looking, but there's definitely something there. All right, okay, so I'm gonna move on to the brow lift brow pencil and highlighter since that is what I'll be doing next. And this is in the shade light. Now I am not good about doing my brows on camera, guys, so this may be a process. I'm really not, I don't know what it is, it just doesn't ever work well with me, so um, I'm going to try to make it work. I'm going to try to make it work. Um, so this is the LA Colors Brow Lift Brow Pencil and Highlighter in the shade Light. So you got a dual ended. You got the pencil there. You got the highlighting section pencil there with a sharpener. And that looks pretty good. Even for the light, I feel like this looks a bit dark. But hopefully... So let me get a mirror. So I got a mirror and I'm gonna try to use the pencil section to fill in my brows. So it's not like 
hard to use, but it's definitely, like I've got to press harder than I really care to. Okay, well, the color is pretty good. It matches. It's just kind of hard to fill your brows in with this. And I don't really like using a pencil anyway. Um, I kind of prefer powders. I find they're easier to work with. Or like a dip brow or like a pomade, brow pomade, is a little bit easier for me to work with. Pencils don't really work that well for me because... I have really, like I have brows so I'm not like totally drawing them on. I just really need to like fill them in and I find like pencils get to be a little too waxy for me on my eyebrows which is kind of how I feel about this. I feel like that looks waxy. I mean it doesn't look bad but it looks waxy to me. I feel like it's like slicking down my brow hairs and creating this like waxy I don't know, like I'm painting them on or something. Um, I'm not really a fan of brow pencils, so that just being said, um, I'm not like overly fond of using this product, but I mean, I have to say the color is good. The color is very natural looking, a bit misleading because I definitely wouldn't say this is a light brow shade by any means. I feel like this is more like a medium brown. So for those who are like really fair and have very light brows, this is going to be a little bit tricky for you because um, I don't feel like this is your shade. I feel like this is a little dark for someone who's very fair. The pencil is good. The pencil is pretty good. I mean, it's not my favorite way to fill my brows in because I'm just not really a fan of pencil for using on eyebrows, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and get the highlighter section and let's try to see if we can get this under our brows and highlight with it. So it looks like it's about like skin color, like uh, a nude shade for me. Now if you're somebody that has a deeper complexion, this is going to be a little light on you underneath the brows. You might want to just use an eyeshadow or something that is closer to your actual um, skin tone or like some concealer to use to kind of shape up the brows. I wouldn't use this because I feel like this is a little bit too light. Even the dark shades at Dollar Tree, the highlighter still looked really shimmery and light, but on me it's okay. And I'm pretty happy with the result. It's a little bit shimmery, so I don't know that I would use it on my top of my brow to like um, shape it up, but I would use it along the bottom of it. It looks pretty good, so not bad. This is pretty good. So the last product we're going to be trying out is the mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and go do my eye makeup, and I'll join you guys back here, and we'll try out this mascara but so far I'm kind of impressed with these products I'm I'm pretty impressed with them I gotta say for a dollar these are pretty good so I'll join you guys back here in just a minute I just went ahead and finished my eyes I really really like this eye look and I think I'm gonna do this for Christmas I think it looks really good I love the red and the gold together I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills a modern Renaissance palette and then I just applied some Clinique pretty easy eyeliner and I am loving this eyeshadow so I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Lash and a Flash mascara now from LA Colors and we'll try this out and see how it works so far all the products are pretty much a hit and I am loving the way I look right now so I'm actually pretty happy about this this is a pretty big deal because normally I'm not really a huge fan of LA Colors Cosmetics. At least most of them have been really quite a miss for me. So this is really kind of like it's coming back. It's like, Susie, we're new and improved and you are going to like us and we are ready for you to try us. And so far, 
I am loving them. So I've already curled my lashes. This is what the packaging looks like. So it says lash in a flash. Love the colors. Love the black. It's great. And then the wand. Okay, so the wand is pretty much the same wand that's in their other mascaras. It looks exactly the same. Really small handle, little just rounded mascara wand. So the formula seems thicker maybe than the other formula. Um, this little wand I'm not really a fan of. I kind of wish they would make this little handle a little bit longer because I feel like it's kind of hard for me to use it um, and get in like close to my eye. But to be honest with you guys, the performance is not bad. I mean, I know I'm wearing eyeliner, so it's kind of hard to see. And I'll try to zoom you guys in here in a minute so you can see a little bit up closer. But it actually doesn't look too bad. This isn't bad. This is not bad. But this is not waterproof, so don't think you can go out swimming and crying and all that in this. Because this is not a waterproof formula. I don't even think they have a waterproof formula but I gotta say for a dollar I'm not mad at it okay I think this looks pretty decent I I'm actually not not mad at it. I think this looks much better than the old formula that I've tried from them. I do think um, it does take a little while to dry. It's not fast drying. So it did just get on me a little bit there. Um, but yeah, this isn't bad. Um, I have to say it it's pretty good. It definitely separated the lashes. It kept them curled. Um, didn't get clumpy, doesn't look spidery or anything, just looks like a really normal, natural mascara. Um, to me, this is really comparable to some of the like Revlon and CoverGirl mascaras that I've used. Something like that. Kind of like not mind blowing, but like not bad. Like, you know, you don't spend a lot on it and you get what you pay for. It's not over the top, it's not anything that I would wear out to like a fancy event or party. Um, it does take a while to dry as you can see but I mean honestly it it's not bad. For a dollar it's not bad and for those of us and um, you know there's some people who just don't have a lot of money they can't spend a lot of money on cosmetics or maybe they just don't want to they're like on a strict budget. This is not a bad option. It's not bad for a dollar. For one dollar Definitely check out your local Dollar Tree and pick these up and some of the other products and try them out because I really think you guys are going to love them and they're a dollar each and to be honest, they're just they're just good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit lengthy, but I really wanted to make sure you guys saw how these products worked and got a full review on them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.